hello 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 welcome 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 you guys gemini so this is going to be your full your full reading you guys um we're going to do two swatches we're going to see what's going on now and then in your future and um see what you and your person feelings are for each other and then of course your advice okay what the angels want you to know all right i'm just shuffling these cards I did, oof, Lord, no, not right now. I did your um, main spread and I did your your bonus. And it looks like those two readings are connected, you guys. So they should be up right now. Go ahead and take a look at them because, oh, wow, it was a lot. Okay. So let's get in twine if this message do resonate with you remember to like the video give this video a big thumbs up here so youtube can push the videos forward into a bigger audience so the video can grow so the channel can grow okay gemini in a relationship gemini separated and the person that's on gemini's mind please please come through thank you gemini in a relationship gemini separated gemini and the person that they're thinking about please come through thank you all right All right, so your first card is the Page of Wands. So this person is definitely excited about you. This person wants to come towards you and talk to you about things. They want you to be, they want to invest in you here, but I'm seeing like something is, uh, like they're ready for investment. But there is something holding them back when it comes to like action here. They're afraid of you. There's a lot of secrets, okay. There's, you guys are not together. <laughs> Soulmates in separation. A lot of that is coming around, Gemini. Your soulmate in separation. You got mutual feelings for this person. You know, this person wants to come back and, you know, undo this moment of, you know, separation. Of course, with this Two of Cups, then we have the Tower in reverse. You want to reverse the argument or whatever you guys had going on that to make this happen. I'm also seeing like your intuition is set. You are just not confused about this compared to your other two readings. So this is a totally different energy that's not connected. Um, you're dealing with a lot of stress that this person puts you through, which is a lot of um, health and physical stress. Um, this person put you through i'm seeing you look or, or, or noticing that you need to heal from these arguments from these passionate arguments that you guys got going on and there is five ones here so it could be different people that you're arguing with to get this person's attention i also feel like for some of you might be still sleeping with this person okay i'm still sleeping with this person uh this person has a lot of passion for you for some of you, you might be careful this person wants to start something or give you something or give birth to something here okay it could be a business but you know it also could be a relationship a new beginning but it also could be a child if you are uh, have you know in that in that um level of life <laughs> this relationship was a roller coaster you guys i'm getting like all over the place Uh, all right, so we have the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles here. We also have the Seven of Cups here, the Justice. You know, this person was very overwhelmed with um, a lot of cheating that was going on here. This is why they want to invest in you, but they are stopping themselves. There's just so many things in secret here. I feel like there is a lot of people that are around you that is doing things that they shouldn't either. In this moon being here... Okay, people that freaking hold your hands or, you know, your best friends, people that you really trust and talk to. Be careful what you tell them about your person. Okay, um, I'm feeling like this is why this person didn't make any moves and your guys were in separation. They cheated to the fact that for some of you, they could have gotten someone pregnant here, being very... Um, Hmm. 
this person wasn't being very respectable for themselves or for you, responsible. They were being unresponsible and they ended up doing something that they shouldn't have done. You ended up move single from this person, ended this 10 of ten of cups. You, you know, like you're like, no, this is not gonna happen. I don't see us in, in life together, being happy together, being married together, no having children together. It's it's a whammy. So you are moving on in the single life, you know. They're overwhelmed with this drama. I see that you're ending this relationship. The justice, they were very unfair to you here. Yeah. You're pretty much gone. Unfair to you, lied to you, didn't tell you the truth, you know. And you decided to free yourself, to move on from this, okay? This broken heart here. You had too many people come into your life and do the same thing. And you'd be damned if you're going to stay with this person. Even though you have a lot of love for them, they have a lot of love for you. You get each other, but they made a bad decision, okay? All right, let's see in the present moment. All right, we still got ah, the Eight of Swords. Didn't I just take stuff out of here? Oh my God. I don't know how that even got there, but. Um, you know, I feel like the star is here. because you lost faith in this person in reverse so like you're done you're putting an end to this they clearly had something that they are juggling with but they feel like they can make this work with you you know this person is a person that is very stubborn um but very i'm ready to go to battle for you kind of attitude again you could be dealing with aries leo or sag energy okay i'm also seeing the three of swords here Okay, this is something that you're dealing with. Three of swords, third party situation. All right, that is very, very new and overwhelming for you. It's like every time you think about your person, you think about love, and you're like, damn, how could somebody love me and just do this to me? All right, so let's do your energy i want to see what your energy is like with your person what's gemini energy for this person please how is gemini feeling towards this person how is gemini feeling towards this person so funny Scorpio had the same thing <laughs> the ten of pentacles oh you feel like this could work but you're taking an L like what's holding you guys back is the responsibility is this L here you know you have all these plans together you just don't think this relationship is going to move any further you know, and this is what's keeping you guys apart. But the ten of, the ten of um, cups for you, Gemini. You not a ten of cups, a ten of pentacles for you. You still have this, you know, hope that this is going to happen for you. You know, even though you have trust issues moving forward, but this person is a, bu a, bu a burden. You know, um, the tower moment is here that you know is not going to last very long. And it's a self-awareness that you have to take responsibility. I see that you're going to be needing healing very soon because messages are going to come towards you and you're going to have to learn to deal with, okay, do you want to be with them or do you want to move forward? Okay. But there's going to be a decision here that needs to be made. Um, and I feel like you, this person already gave it to you, 
because you're you're giving me the 11 card where oh my god this person gave you a decision there is an opportunity that could be met here but you just don't know if this relationship is can work i feel like you're waiting for your apology just like scorpio read and i think they had this as well okay let's look at um <laughs> their energy for you what is this person energy for gemini please some of you could be dating a Scorpio. I, I know all, most of you are, but it's just weird that they have the same thing with this apology, this eight of um, pentacles. I'm not sure about the two, but they have this ten of... Oh, wow. Sorry, you guys. I'm just shook. <laughs> all right. What is this? What is the Gemini person feeling for? Gemini, please, in this connection. Let your feelings towards Gemini. I need a cup of tea, you guys. What is this person feeling for Gemini? They're looking at you like your abundance. I mean, they're feeling that you are very to yourself right now because you're mad at them. You know, you're entwined with your job. You're working overtime. You're not trying to pay attention to them right now. You're trying to do self-healing right now. Um, but they look at you as abundance, um, someone that they're going to, you know, eventually get right and, you know, do things to. It's funny how you have the 11 card in your situation and then they have the 11, 11 here. Yes, you see what I'm saying? Soulmate connection. Soulmate contract. Ten of Pentacles contract here. You know, putting through each other through the journey. So, you know, I definitely feel like they know that you have a lot of things going on, that you have a lot of, you know, sleepless nights, they're stressing you out. They feel like, you know, they abandoned this relationship and they're living in regret right now about this. They feel really bad that they have done this to you. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing for that, which is very sweet, by the way. So let's go into your second swatch and see what's going on for the future. All right. All right. Gemini and their future, this person. So beautiful outside, you guys. Gemini in their person. Gemini in the person I've been thinking about. And this connection. In the future, please. Messages do you have for Gemini? Okay. Wow, the first card is the sun. Oh my goodness. The sun, you guys happiness you guys are going to be happy but i feel like it's just a lot of imbalance you know dealing with this three of swords three of pentacles this healing situation here this ten of cups in reverse yeah you guys are going to be through a testimony so you know only the strong survive this you know if you guys really want to be with each other it will work but i feel like you're going to take an exit for a while um gemini and try to do things on your own i don't think that is anything to do with this person honestly in the future you are just doing yourself you know you're just trying to see what you truly want all right so i do feel like you're looking at this relationship maybe as a loss right now for some of you could have children with this but children with this person but you don't look at them as someone that you want to be in involved with in the long run okay maybe as a friend i feel like there's just too many swords in your back um from this person and it doesn't even have to be this person honestly it can be from other people in your life that's triggering you and this person is someone that you truly cared about and you're like damn you know why would you hurt me that way if you know what i've been through right um, but there's going to be some changes and some shifts really quickly. Um, some kind of like in informative messages where you have to deal with and not so cover them and put them under the rug. You're going to have to deal with these situations because this person is not giving up. You know, this person hmm, wants to be with you and only you. I see. 
the situation ended in the five of pentacles here made you feel like you know you weren't the one for them but you're going to talk about this you know you're going to find out about this five of pentacles very very soon this person is going to appear and ask for a second chance and they're going to continue to do that in the nights okay even if they get rejected they're going to keep coming and keep coming so it's going to be very hard for you to actually move on with someone else because this person is going to make sure their presence is known even though sometimes they might feel a little bit childish a young for you like they don't deserve you but i feel like they were trying to control the situation and instead of like you know including you in the situation and making you be a part of it they made you find out things a different way okay i feel like this would have ended a different way or um in a better way if they were honest with you all right but we have the queen of swords here so you're very guided guarded with this person but there's an incompletion here and i also see that this person sees you have the king of pentacles but they're coming off as the page of pentacles which again no secret here this person tends to go back and forth with their energy first they're the knight then they're the pages all right so they it's it's like they are very slow and sometimes they come very fast they go back and forth with them in their minds okay but you're just waiting you're very you know i, I don't see any hate or towards this person or any because there's all love here it's all love here but you're just protecting your energy as things go but you're waiting for this person you know or waiting for that right person to come into your life um, you're not out there trying to find anything. You're just like, are you, you rather things be organic, you know, fit together. But yeah, I do see things like that. Now let's look at what's going on in the present moment. We have the King of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the, the King of Cups. All right. And the Fools. Hmm. Hmm. You're having a lot of doubt when it comes to this person, when it comes to trust, but I feel like it's morally about your your healing process here. There will be a strong conversation here. Um, I do see a soulmate connection, twin flame for some of you, but I believe this is a soulmate connection because we did see the six of cups, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I do see your energy as well, where you're just like, uh, not right now, not with them, but you're going to be thrown with a curve remember i told you that when we did your energy um you told me um that there will be there you had the 11 and i believe they have the 11 11 so they're looking at you as their abundance so i see here in the present this is what they're planning because they gave you the two of wands everything you ever wanted yeah so this is what they're going to give you you know the lifetime opportunity um wedding a marriage for some of you, a long, stable, committed relationship, okay? They chose you. No matter what their friends are saying in the back here, they want to be with you, and that is final. But they know that they damaged your trust, and they have to build it back up again. So let's see what your, um, your advice is like, okay? Okay. Gemini, please, and advice what you have for Gemini. What you have for Gemini in this connection, please. Any advices? Okay. Five of Pentacles. I think this is something you need to work towards, this coldness, this communication that you guys have. Because it's so funny because um, it's not really funny, but it's like this is how this person sees you and the Queen of Pentacles, you know. It's hard for them to let you go. They will never find no one better than you, so don't think they will, okay? Um, it is what it is, all right? But I feel like there is a message here for both of you. It's like work on your communication because the whole thing 
that when I was making your reading, I didn't see much communication until the very end where the Queen of Swords, King of Swords, there was be a form of understanding, a form of communication there. You're really guided, but you're here to listen, all right? Because you've been hurt from this person, but this person is going to be very stern, what they want, and they're going to appear to be ready for this, okay? Be ready for your relationship. Because the truth is, this person constantly cannot get over you. No matter what you guys do, even if you date other people, you're going to always be drawn to each other, think about each other, wondering what each other is doing. So what is the solution here? Don't run away from this. Face this head on. Even if you guys ended up to be friends, just do it in peace. Don't just break, you know, from each other in coldness, no clarity or whatever, because you're going to always wonder what if, what if, what if. So make sure to, you know, understand each other because this mutual feeling is not like one person is feeling different than the other. No, this is a two of cups. There's no one and the other. There's both of you feeling the same way, mirroring each other, thinking about each other, dreaming about each other. I mean, come on. You're like, it's been a year. Why am I still thinking about this? person right so and this is why um i feel like you need to be careful with your money stop giving people your money you guys um you know you're gonna end up broke if you want to go and eat out great if you can afford it go ahead and do that make sure you don't spend your mortgage money your rent money on a vacation or on a Gucci bag, okay, that you cannot afford. And make sure to understand, because I feel like, I don't know if it was your reading or somebody else's reading, but I, I, I think I talked about this before. Don't buy things for this person just to make things okay, to make them happy. They don't need this, okay? You might think this is what they need, this is how they are, but they truly do love you, okay? <laughs> They truly do love you. You don't need to give them anything. You don't need to hand them anything. The angels want you to know that your love is all they truly need. Of course, nobody's not going to say, don't get me this, don't get me that, you know, and don't try to spoil them either and think that, you know, after spoiling them, you can withdraw, you know, you have to put your boundary down from the beginning and let them know this is, hey, you know, if you're a man and you feel like you want to take care of your woman, yeah, you know, provide for her, but make sure this person knows they have to work. They have to, you know, chip in or something. You just, you, and unless you want to have control of the finance and the relationship and you want them to work from home, make sure this is something that they need and want, okay? With this Five of Pentacles, or Two of Cups here, we have healing that needs to be done here with this Ten of Swords in the back. A lot of people in your business and also, you know, moving forward, running from this relationship, ending it. Make sure you end it the right way. Like I said before, if you're ending this connection and don't want to be with this person again because of what they have done to you. So make sure you're doing it for the right reason. But I'm going to leave this here, you guys. I hope it resonates and I will see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.